In this course tutorial, you'll learn how to set up four different water displacement shaders in Blender. We'll be using Cycles Render Engine for this, and we'll be ignoring the material setup and modifiers, and only be messing around with the displacement shader in the node setup. But the material we'll be using in the video is going to be a gloss shader with a roughness of zero. This will make it easier to tell what the ripples and bumps of the water look like, and how the light will reflect off of it. So let's start off with one we all already know, that is if you watch my tutorials. <laughs> so open up the node editor and add a moose gray texture node, place it on where you like. Then click shift D to duplicate the node. For the first node, we'll change the scale to 30 and the detail to 0.3. And for the second node, we'll make the scale 50 and the detail 0.2. Next let's add a mix RGB node and connect the outputs of the moose gray texture nodes into the inputs of the mix RGB node. Now, plug in the mix output into the displacement input in the material output node, and ta-da! This displacement was from my pool water shader tutorial, but now let's try another displacement. This one is more detailed and only requires one node. So, we're going to add a noise texture node and connect it to the displacement output. Then just play around with the scale to see how many ripples are created and how much you want. I'll keep the scale at 20, and then increase the detail to 4. If you're planning on animating with the displacement, I recommend increase the detail to get much smoother results. But you could just leave the node at its default settings for more realistic results. Now let's use the same noise texture node, but this time let's add a Voronoi texture node and along with it an invert node so we can invert the texture and its effects and finally a mix RGB node. I'm going to plug in everything before we edit the digits so we can see the changes from default to edited. Make sure to plug in the Voronoi texture into the invert node, then the invert node into the mix RGB. Increase the noise texture scale to 80, and then the Voronoi vector value to 4, and then the mix RGB to 0.7. Though of course for more realistic results, decrease the noise scale by a lot. But I wanted to crank up the scale so it's easier to see what the difference was when I plugged in the Voronoi texture node. Very small waves added to the water. For this last displacement setup, you can't make the scale very low to achieve more realistic results. Instead, it's the opposite. So let's add a Voronoi texture node and duplicate it. Then we'll add two copies of the math node. So two copies of both nodes basically. Connect everything. But wait, I actually lied. We need one more math node. This will act as our factor. Connect them like so, and we get this very interesting and ugly but still kinda cool looking result. Though it doesn't look like water, so let's fix it. Let's increase the bottom Voronoi texture scale to 40, and then the top Voronoi texture scale to 20. Or maybe 25. I might change it to 20 later on. For the bottom and top math node, let's switch them to multiply and leave the middle math node to add. I feel like I've said the word node too much. Change the bottom multiply value to 0.7, and the top multiply value is your factor that determines how much ripples you want on the plane. Something like 0.1 is already good enough and is already accurate. And that concludes this course tutorial. I hope you found it useful in any way. If you did, give this video a like to show your support. A positive rating is always appreciated. And comment below your thoughts on these setups and what you think you could have done better and which of these four displacements was the most useful one to you. If you want to see more of my material and shaded tutorials, subscribe now. Thanks so much, stay golden, and get the bonbon.